The much anticipated Marvel Champions the Card Game has finally arrived, and we are going to do our utmost to do a reboxing here on Legendary Tactics. So we've been super excited to, to take a look into this game, and we are about to do a bit of a deep dive here. I've got my handyman Jack with me as well. We are going to start off with looking at the, uh, the rule book and investigating what exactly we've got in here. It's a very nice, glossy rule book. Uh, lots of detail, lots of explanation, uh, how to set up your counters, of course. Uh, this is actually called the rule, uh, sorry, the learn to play. Uh, it also comes with a secondary rules reference, which is a little more uh, just uh, specifics and uh, different uh, topics that you may encounter in your gameplay. Uh, I love this game to start, but I am going to say that I hate the uh, holder for the box. I find the box setup is was very poorly designed for the cards. Uh, right now, we're just going to be uh, zipping through some some of the uh, the counters that hold together the, um, the the damage counter, so the damage dials. So we're just gonna take a quick peruse through uh, the cards here. Uh, this this uh, game comes with a lot of cards. It's car of course, it's called the card game, and it is not short on the cards. Uh, the cards themselves, I find, are um, a okay quality. They're passable. Uh, for those that want to play it a lot, you're probably going to be considering maybe getting some sleeves uh, just to do a little more uh, card protection. They're not the, uh, they're, they've got a little bit of, of ply and bend to them, but, uh, but you can see the, the great uh, animations and graphics on each of them. Oh, Vision, excellent. Maria Hill, perfect. Oh, and who could forget Hawkeye? Oh, Vibranium. Always shooting for the Vibranium there. Okay, now we're getting into a uh, little Wakanda Forever here, so this has got to be the one and only Black Panther or T'Challa. So there's T'Challa, and you can see it's got the alter ego on one side, uh, along with the hero side, and that's, of course, the standard setup for, uh, for, the, for each of the heroes you're taking. Uh, there's our Iron Man deck. So we've seen Iron Man, we've seen T'Challa. Uh, Black Panther here is, of course, She-Hulk. Um, another character, Jennifer Walters is her alter ego name. And then we get into the Spidey deck. So uh, I wanted to highlight here, these are some of the villain cards that uh, we, you have to actually play into your deck. Your, your cards that um, are your nemesis cards. So those are actually part of your deck as well. And there was um, the Vulture, of course. So Mockingbird is another hero for my deck in, in the Spider-Man deck. And we've got uh, the power of justice there. Of course, you have to have great responsibility. You know, that's when they, they could not overlook. The, oh, and Daredevil. You get Daredevil in there as well. Uh, now, the, these red, darker red ones, of course, are Spider-Man's uh, specific card cards uh, laid out for the Spider-Man deck. So we've got a number of cards that are earmarked for the Spidey deck. Uh, one neat thing about the Spider-Man deck is, uh, as we come to it here, there's, oh, of course, Black Cat, and then there's Peter Parker. Uh, but one thing the Spider-Man deck is it does have uh, the, uh, the the first card there to let you know what your card is. Uh, and, of course, we love to wrap it back up uh, in the cellophane just the way it came, of course. Uh, it's very We're very specific about this at Legendary Tactics. We don't... Uh, we don't mess around, and we ensure that our cards aren't going to suffer any ill-timed bend fate. So we get them right back in the cellophane. Here you can see some player phase reference cards. Uh, well, there's a number of those, of course, for each player that uh, would be in the game. Here, of course, are some enemy cards. Uh, we've got the Ultron deck here. Ultron and uh, a number of uh, the cards involving the Ultron deck. Radioactive Man. Uh, and then, of course, you've got some of the uh, uh, the different scenarios there. And we, again, we make sure that uh, we put uh, the cellophane on with the blue sticker. That's an important uh, thing to remember as well. Uh, we always like to have that blue dot on our Rhino deck. Uh, getting this top part's not always the easiest trick, but we, uh, with a little knife help, uh, we can just zip that and almost glue gun it right back the way it came. So uh, it's as safe as a daisy. And here we get into the Rhino deck now. Here's another uh, enemy deck that we could be looking at. 
Uh, got lots of uh, different enemy cards here. And the Rhino is uh, the first deck uh, that the game recommends you start against. So that is uh, 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 the deck you're probably going to want to start with if you're just uh, new to the game here. Shocker and Sandman. Hydra. We've got lots of, uh, lots of great uh, names from, uh, from the series, of course. So, And again, it also lets you know that uh, you have to start. You can start it's, it's, it's a fully pre-built deck. So we like to make sure here if the cellophane rips on you a little, you can just pinch it back, no problem, and it will usually stick dandy. So we're getting into the Captain Marvel deck here, and we're just this is another pre-built starter deck for you. So uh, two starter decks that they uh, they have set for you are Captain Marvel and Spider-Man. There's actually even uh, well, and we'll come to oh Nick Fury, oh Nick, excellent. It's great to have Nick on board. And there's the Mockingbird again. So you can see there there are doubles, of course, of a lot of the cards. Uh, but the uh, so the Spider-Man and the Captain Marvel deck actually have a whole listing of the exact cards that you can pull to actually have uh, a, a, your pre-built deck. There's Hulk as an ally. That's a great ally card. And then the dark blue purpley color represents all of the cards, uh, in, in standard cards for uh, Carol Devers or Captain Marvel. And there's another blue to sticker uh, deck. Of course, we want to make sure we have that cellophane on there and just get it on right. Get it in the deck. But you can see I find the cards just don't fit nicely into the box and you kind of have to set them down. It looks like there should have been dividers, but I did not see any in the box and uh, they don't seem to have been uh, included, which is a bit of an oversight, I think, uh, for such a great game um, that they wouldn't have thought to have a way of storing the cards a little more uh, effectively planned out. So we're into the tough cards here. Uh, these are, of course, cards you'll see throughout the course of the game. Uh, we have Stunned and we have Confused. And those are different cards that can rear their ugly heads throughout the game. So, again, not the greatest of quality, but uh, they will suffice to uh, for the, your needs in the game. Uh, and again, sleeves are a potential option there. And l the very colorful counters here we've got are, uh, are different counter numbers plus ones, the ones, two, threes. Here is our Marvel card game uh, spin uh, dial counters. And uh, we like to even, I was actually pretty impressed they even, that, that came in a cellophane wrap, which is pretty amazing. We like to put the cellophane wrap, of course, right back on after we've played with all of the chips, just to make sure that things are kept neat. Getting everything back in the box properly, that's a big chore. Uh, we'll uh, add on the rules reference and then, of course, put the learn to play guide on top. And we will then be ready to play our game, Marvel Champions, the card game. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe to Legendary Tactics while we finish the final cellophane wrap just to make sure we can put our game neatly on the shelf. Getting that top edge is probably the hardest part of, uh, of getting that cellophane back on, but uh, with a few extra helping hands, no problem. We seal it up nice and tight, and uh, quite a quite a beautiful looking box actually. Uh, lots of uh, the the comic-y kind of feel to it. Thanks for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics.